Hey everyone, today we are talking about Mug Animator 3D Mockup Software by Pavel Trevikowski. This is a pretty cool program that you can download onto your computer for free and use to build 3D mockups of tons of different products for sublimation, HTV, even screen printing. The program allows you to download your mockups in MP3, GIF, and screenshot formats. So you can really use these mockups for lots and lots of different purposes. So let's take a look at how to get started. First, go to muganimator.com and wait for the pop-up screen to come up. Here, you'll be asked to subscribe to a mailing list, and in return, you get 14 backgrounds that you can use with Mug Animator software. I really recommend doing this because, first of all, it's free, and second, having a dynamic background can really enhance the quality and the impact that your mock-up has. Once you get the confirmation that your subscription has been sent, go back to the home screen and download the software either for Mac or for PC. A zip file will begin downloading, and this may take a few minutes depending on the speed of your computer. Once it's done, open it up and move the Mug Animator 6.4 folder to wherever it is you want to house this particular program. This is not an executable file, so you won't actually be installing it on your computer. Instead, all of the files needed to run the program will continue to live in the folder you just downloaded. As you can see, my folder's on my desktop, so now I'm going to open it up, and I'm gonna choose Win64 for my computer. I'm gonna open that folder and find the Mug Animator shortcut. Right click, and then click Send To and Desktop. Now I have a Mug Animator shortcut on my desktop, and when I want to start the program, I just double click on that, and I can get started. Once you open the software, you'll have a few setting options, so take a look at those and make sure that you select what's right for you. And then it'll take a minute or so for the software to load up. The free version of the software does include ads, so the first thing you see is a countdown to an ad. And then once you skip through that, you will get to the user interface, which also has some ads on it as well. You do have the option to upgrade to the full licensed version for $24.99, which is a one-time fee. And I do highly recommend it because the free version does have some limitations to it, such as the number of mockups and downloads you can do within a day. So I'm going to put in a license key to upgrade to the paid version so you can see how that works for the rest of the video. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, all of the ads are gone. So this is what you get with the paid upgrade for Mug Animator. And now I'm gonna walk you through some of the different features of using this software. There are three main categories of products here, starting with kitchenware. As you can see, when you mouse over a particular product, a description of what that product is will come up. There are a lot of different options within this category, not just mugs, but also water bottles, can koozies, even plates, shot glasses, pet bowls. There's just a lot of really great products in this category. Next, we move on to clothing and fabrics, which as you can see, the very popular raglan is there, subla socks, long sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, even hats and bags and new with this version of Mug Animator is an all over print t-shirt. Next up is the miscellaneous category, which has a ton of different hard substrates in it, as well as a couple of soft ones like pillows. Here's where you come for a lot of popular products like slates, photo panels, plaques, cutting boards, dog tags, and any number of other types of products. Okay, now that you're familiar with the products and categories, let's try making a mock-up. Photo slates are really popular right now, so let's try making a mock-up of one of those. Start by selecting the product, as you can see here, and a 3D version of it starts spinning in your preview screen. You can control the speed of rotation using this slider right here. You can also control the amount of whiteness that is being applied to the substrate with this light control right here. As you can see, turning it on and off makes the face of the slate either brighter or darker. You can control this whether you have an image on there or not. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a background. 
And these are the 14 backgrounds that you will receive free when you register for the subscription list with Mug Animator. I'm going to quickly choose background number three for my slate mock-up and it is automatically applied. And as you can see, the dynamics of my image have now completely changed. Next, what I'm going to do is upload the image that I want to apply to the photo slate itself. I'm going to choose this portrait right here. The image is imported into the software and you can see it on the left hand side of the screen. It's proportional there, but it's not proportional on the slate. So what we have to do is expand the image so that it covers the entire face of the slate. You'll see the image become distorted on the left hand side of the screen, but on the slate, it's perfectly proportional. You can experiment with the light function to see what effect it has on the image that's now on your slate, and then determine if you want to keep it on or off. Next, we're going to add a watermark. Click on watermark and then browse and then choose whatever logo or other image you want as your watermark. Click OK and apply. And as you can see, it is in the middle of our mock-up, which just isn't going to work. So now I'm going to go through each of the different positions to see which is best for this particular project. As you can see, the placement is not 100% perfect. You don't have the option of adding margin or having the watermark placed exactly where you want it to be. However, it is a good option, particularly if you're going to be using this mock-up on a public site where you want to protect your intellectual property. Finally, we're going to look at how to export this mock-up that we just made. First, we're going to export it as a GIF. Choose either low, medium, or high quality. Then give your GIF file a name and click on Save. The software will then begin exporting your animation and then save it to your computer. Next, we're going to download an MP4. First, we're going to set the rotation speed so we are happy with how fast or slow it is spinning in our MP4. Next, we're going to set the video quality and the number of spins we want included. Then we name our file, click save, and the software will begin recording. The last download option is a screenshot which will download a PNG image of your mockup onto your computer. And those are the basics of working with Mug Animator. Definitely something to check out at muganimator.com. Keep an eye out for my follow-up video looking at how Mug Animator works specifically with clothing and apparel mockups. In the meantime, make sure you're following us on Facebook for the latest news from Sublimation Today. Thanks a lot for joining us.